Hi guys, this is GAS and Remote Sensing Basic YouTube channel. If you are newly watching this channel, subscribe it for further videos. Today we go to see how to do shoreline change analysis in DSAS toolbar in RGS. Okay, now I am going to create one uh, new personal geo database for doing DSAS analysis. I have renamed it DSAS ok inside this uh, personal geo database we need to create one new future class sorry future class I named it as a uh, shoreline and this is line future ok and I am going to select the projection system and I have to type the field name and data type uh, the first name field name is shape length and second one is date and third one is uncertainty the date is <coughs> text shape length is double and uh, uncertainty is uh, double ok inside the DSAS toolbar uh, DSAS uh, uh, personal geo database we need to create another new future class that is baseline and that one also line future ok uh, inside the baseline uh, shape, shape file we need to create the field name and data type like this see these are all the data types the first one is shape length second one is id third one is group and fourth one is offshore fifth one is cast air and these are all the data types cast air is short integer offshore is short integer group is long integer id is long integer shape length is double ok now we created uh, baseline and uh, shoreline shape files now using this we need to create the shoreline first using satellite imageries i have downloaded it from earth explorer website first of all i add uh, 1995 satellite imagery I have selected only one band for digitizing shoreline you can use uh, multi-spectral imager also by creating RGP now I give the start editing in shoreline shape file and I have select one steady area roughly and I am going to digitize the shoreline roughly see like this this is the rough explanation you need to zoom it uh, detail and digitize the shoreline exactly ok now 1995 shoreline is completed I typed the I type the information in attribute table date of the imagery <coughs> like this and next uncertainty the uncertainty uncertainty is 1 ok now it is over Okay, now I open the another year satellite imagery. See, this is the second uh, temporal imagery. Using this, I am going to create uh, another shoreline.
in the same way the previous one say like this you digitize the another shore line this is a low resolution satellite imagery you can choose better uh, resolution imagery for shore line change analysis this is a rough video to understand the shoreline change uh, DSAS toolbar Okay, I completed the second one short line roughly. Now you type the short line information in the attribute table. Okay. Now I am going to create one baseline baseline using baseline shape file. I have now I have created a rough baseline, but you need to take a buffer from the latest shoreline, a regular interval buffer. But uh, now I am going to create one uh, rough baseline. like this now you go to type the baseline information id is 1 and group one group is 1 offshore is 2 cast air is 2 now you give the stop edit and save it. Now remove the all data. See this is the baseline and shoreline. I will go, go to the symbology. For uh, giving the different variation of shoreline. Select the date here. Give, uh, enable the label features see this is the two interval show lines now we go the DSAS toolbar see this is the DSAS toolbar you select the set default parameter option and here you select the baseline option and select the group field now you give the transact length 1000 and the cost transacts give you name and a location for transact creating now the transacts are creating see these are the transacts for our shoreline and baseline here you select the transacts and uh, calculate the statistics by clicking on this select the all statistics SCE, NSM, EPR, LRR 
and calculate it. LRR is the linear regression rate and EPR is the endpoint rate, NSM is the net shoreline movement, SE is the shoreline changing and all of. WLR, LMS are not uh, that much important. You can see the DSAS help for uh, more information about uh, the statistics. What is the difference between one to another? You can get the details from the help, DSAS help. Now it is completed. Okay, now I open the first uh, table file. These are all the tra transacts and uh, XY informations are there in the table. And I uh, will open the another one table file. Here you see all the transacts information and uh, EPR, SCE, NSM, LRR, all the informations are available within this table. Uh, the minus values indicates uh, erosion areas and the plus values indicates uh, accretion areas. Zero is indicate stable areas. You can select the excess uh, transects and OS any parameter like EPR or LRR. Uh, you will get the graph for erosion and accretion areas. This will show the shoreline change information. Okay, thank you for watching, subscribe and share this video, thank you.